next service call. Train XR13, manufacture date of March 2006. We have an R22 system, eight pounds, 14 ounces of refrigerant, came pre-charged, all right? We're working with a 48,000 BTU unit, and that equals four tons. That is hot as can be, all right? Hot. Feel that? You know what that means? What does that mean, Peter? Um, it, it was uh, the issue that the one we did last week. Excellent. Maybe, hopefully, you recall what the solution was or what the problem was. Well, we cleaned the coil. Okay. And then we got the little magnet and we stuck it to the, the cool presser. Fan motor. And what caused the failure? Was it um, oh, uh, the. Um, what does it look like? It's the little. I don't know why I'm forgetting the name now. What does it look like? Describe it. It's, it's, it's like the battery of the... Oh, like, it's like you're holding a big yeah. <laughs> big cylinder thing in your hand? Like yeah. it's, it's, it's the battery. <laughs> Correct. That's yeah. called the capacitor. Okay. Yes. So when we have a hum, right? Fortunately, we can hear it right away. There's no other units running. When you have the hum of the system, that means 24 volts is closing that contactor coil, and that's the hum that you hear. The next thing I would... Let's say this was cold. If this was cold, chances are the compressor is cold, and chances are that there's no power there. But since this was hot, that means it's getting power, right? And it's not turning on, and it's generally because of a dual capacitor. Like the one we did last week for the install that was six years old. They just happened to neglect service over the last four, and hence, you know, we did the coil cleaning, and we did a bunch of other things, including replacing the dual capacitor. So I would like you to get the tool bag, and then we're going to remove the lower panel and the upper panel. And we're going to see the condition of this dual capacitor. Right, I want you to put the gloves on this time. You got to start earning your keep, buddy. All right? Because Air Force none is not going to be with us forever. And he doesn't like the trades. So we got you, bro. I think you're up for it. So you're going to need the drill, the 516s. We're going to take off the lower access panel, which is going to expose the service valves for this train condenser, and then we're gonna lift up the next one. That is probably gonna slide down just a hair and then you can pull it free. Perfect, okay. Now, let's see what we're working with. Now, if you notice in the bottom compartment, there's been no real service or maintenance done on this thing in a while. So one of the things we're gonna do before we leave is we're gonna clean out that compartment and also this compartment. We'll use the Milwaukee M18 blower, but let's identify some components. We have a, uh, looks like a hard start here, right? Uh -huh. That's the relay, and this is like the capacitor for it. That is called our? Uh, that's our uh, two-pole. No, oh, not two-pole. Dual? That's oh, a one-pole contact. One okay. And this is called? That's our capacitor. Okay, and if you look, take a look, also look at the capacitor. She looks about four months pregnant. Yeah, four right? months She's got a little pregnant. bump right there, right? So the first thing we're gonna do, make sure the power is disconnected. We're gonna take our needle nose, we're just gonna to touch in between these two wires, all these wires there, just to make sure that it discharges, all right? I could pull a Ted Cook. You know, he's the anti-DIY guy on, on YouTube, and I love his channel, he's a great guy. Older gentleman, and you know what? When I'm down in South Carolina, there's no such thing as competition. He's just gonna be another professional in the trades that does the right thing. And I'd like to give Ted a huge shout out because he really does amazing work in his, uh, in his territory. So he uses his fingers. I don't got balls like that, but that's good. Go to the next and then all together. Once in a blue moon, you are actually gonna get a little zap right there, right? When you do that. Yeah. Good, okay. Now, here's a good tech tip. Right, in case you don't know, right, the brown wire is on a terminal with just one mm -hmm. terminal, right? And it looks like there's another one there, but whatever, it's not there. This one has four, we know that's common. Mm -hmm. And the one back there, we know that's Herm or compressor. That's got the blue and the orange wire there. So we'll remember that, or you can take a picture of it, or you can take a Sharpie and make this, make this brown, make this all the other ones. But all we need to do is remember brown is fan, and the blue, one of the blues and the orange go together. So let's take off all those wires. Let's make sure we don't touch that terminal right there mm -hmm. or this terminal right there. Because if we do, we're gonna short out the, the transformer, possibly blow a fuse in the attic. And I don't wanna go into the attic. I don't think you'd wanna go in there either. All right, I remove the condenser fan motor from the top of the unit. 
along with the fan grill. I removed the jacket, the insulating jacket, from the Roto Lock compressor. Roto Lock uh, in the days was a uh, proprietary thing that Ingersoll, Ingersoll Rand did, which is American Standard Train. There's unions there and there, right? That compressor is hot to the touch. While Peter is taking off the wires off the dual capacitor and identifying which dual capacitor that is, we're gonna take a look at the condition of the condenser fan motor. We're gonna make note of the capacitor that this uses. Let's see if we can see that. We know it's at 825 RPM and the capacitor, I'm looking for it. It's an eighth horsepower. I don't see it there, but Yep, it's a five microfarad capacitor. And then the compressor. Uh, don't tell me. I want to find it first. Where is it? I don't see it. What's the size of it? Something five. 35.5. Okay, so we need a 35.5 dual capacitor. We need the hose and we need the cool presser. We're gonna cool off the compressor. So we're working on this unit right here, right? And I hear this loud banging sounds coming from like a neighbor's house. What the hell are they building there? By the way, this is a residential zone lot. What is that? Is the cost of lumber that expensive? Insane. Wow. All right, to cool off my compressor and also my condenser fan motor, I'm gonna use this little gadget. It's Hold the cool presser, right, it's magnetic. See that? It's hooked up to a garden hose and we're gonna turn the water on. Okay, our cool presser is now, I like to put that in the center of the compressor. We're now using cold water, cold domestic potable water, right? To cool up this compressor. And that's gonna take some time, maybe about, you know, five, seven minutes. So we're gonna let that cool off while Peter is working on the dual capacitor, one of the things I'm gonna move is my tools so they don't get wet. Move that to higher ground, all right? Good stuff. Peter's working on that, so. And make sure when you, those, when you put those wires in the terminals, make sure they're nice and secure. You don't want them to uh, be too loose. That looks very tight, good. Okay. Remember where the orange went? Good, on um, Herm, which is hermetically sealed with one of the blues. And the other ones with the blue went to the seep uh, terminal top. Now for the dual capacitors or capacitors that my company replaces, um, we still have some inventory of the Titan Pros. Uh, these are made in China, I believe. Yeah, um, but when I reorder, I am reordering the Titan HDs they're made in the USA. Um, others in the community on YouTube have um, given their feedback in the comments section down below. They like the Amarads, A-M-R-A-Ds. However, local distribution in the Long Island, New York City metropolitan area, uh, they don't stock them. You know, the only Amarad that I see is the Turbos. And I do stock, you know, two of the larger ones and two of the smaller ones, but I'm a dual capacitor guy. and. We take out what we put back in, but moving forward, when we run out of the inventory, which you know I usually buy thousands of dollars worth of these in the beginning of the season, um, when I run out of these, they're being replaced with the Titan uh, HDs. Far superior, made in the USA, just much better quality, even though it says professional grade, right? Uh, I've learned from the community, and the goal is learn something new every day, and that's what we put in right now like the cool presser that we're using to cool off the compressor so i'd like to give a shout out to the entire community thank you thank you for making me more educated and more smarter and making more money so you're gonna notice you're gonna notice peter that the original compass capacitor uh -huh. was larger in diameter than the new one yeah. right so there's that one of the things that you need to learn as an observant technician and granted you're an apprentice you're still learning right but eventually, and you may never forget this now, right? You're gonna realize that the size of the capacitor that you're repla replacing 
is a different size of the new of the new one and you're gonna when you go to the truck to get the capacitor you're also gonna cut a piece of band iron right because there's a box of band iron on the right side uh, passenger side with a pair of snips you're gonna cut a piece of that you're also gonna make sure you have a couple screws to secure that okay just make sure you don't short at that at 24 volts on that coil work smarter ladies and gentlemen not harder use your brain be observant all right peter what do you think Think she's gonna fire up? Uh, let's see why not. Uh, so I'm gonna plug her in. Hopefully, yes. Let's see what happens. Voila. She works. All right, not bad. We covered all bases. Had a little problem with the nest. Of course, these nest thermostats, they always like to play games with me. But uh, while we're finishing up, I got an email from a, a YouTube subscriber, Bob Miller, he sent me this picture, and in the subject, he writes that he's representing. Thank you, Bob Miller, for supporting the channel, supporting the community. Don't forget, let's go Bosch, ladies and gentlemen. And if you would like a Pipe Doctor short sleeve summer 2022 let's go bosch t-shirt details in the description box down below they are available for in sizes medium through 3x i don't have any 2x left uh, or extra large uh, but they are 23 dollars each shipped or two for 40. details in the description box down below you get them directly from me not from spring not from any other website directly from me mikey pipes Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, be well, God bless, stay safe.